Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, or comment below. It's always exciting to share my budget with uh, YouTube. So I've got my income. I'm trying to get stable at the 1605 amount. January through June. So this is like a six month 2021 uh, update. Now the debt would be the last two cards, 380. So in six months, I should have the second card, the last card done, and then this card. The, this is card number three, uh, debt number three, I should say. For uh, in one or two months, I should have that paid off. Now, as far as expenses, so that takes care of the savings is nothing. Um, until the debt is done. Like I said, six months max for the last one. I wanted to get this, the third one, out of the way this year, but I don't see how that's going to work out. So in about one or two months, that should be done, and then I'll focus on the last step for $380 toward that. And then I've got my needs, debt, savings, debt, needs. And here is the needs, $758. And then we have the expenses. Well, I call these the wants sinking funds and stuff and this should really go up to the needs part or somewhere else but I've got it right here for now but giving over here different things I'll be working on different little um, projects and so happy new year by the way <laughs> okay now I've even got an envelope here that says February 1605. I'm really trying to make sure I have 1605 to work with every month. For the first six months, anyway. All right, let me make a little room. There's so much junk up here. Oh, boy. Just a second. Now. We've got the sinking funds, Christmas, family fun days, beauty jar. That includes hair and budget supplies. Education, it funds school. Education gifts, two gifts actually. Birthdays and other clothes. Now these sinking funds should be a lot more. But because I'm putting money toward debt, I'll have to keep these at a bare minimum so uh, the next one is a household this Amazon wish list money stock up money one grandchild a month money and shopping with no money those I'm not um, keeping track of everything that goes into these envelopes so I'm all set Um, I was able, with this budget, I'm able to accomplish about six or seven goals. So I'm very excited about this budget. Uh, if I can maintain the 1605 every month. Uh, so everything seems to be in its planning stages, but it looks so positive. You know, I'm really excited because six or seven goals, you know, th that's a lot to accomplish. And a lot of things I had been talking about in 2020, I could see it working out in 2021. As long as I'm keeping track of everything, doing the every dollar budget and uh, pacing myself, taking baby steps. So I didn't want to get these uh, sinking funds over 350. At one time it was 159, 
and I didn't want to get these over 350 but I'm not going to hold myself to that. Uh, like I said, if I wasn't paying 380 on the debt, these would be a lot larger amounts. But I'm able to accomplish six or seven goals, and I am so happy. So that's the breakdown. God bless. And uh, have a great holiday and uh, Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you on my next video.